Russia says it may close its main gas pipeline to Germany if the West goes ahead with a ban on Russian oil. Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak said a rejection of Russian oil will lead to catastrophic consequences for the global market, causing prices to more than double to $300 a barrel. The U.S. has been exploring a potential ban with allies as a way of punishing Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, but Germany and the Netherlands rejected the plan on Monday. The EU gets about 40% of its gas and 30% of its oil from Russia and has no easy substitutes if supplies are disrupted. In an address on Russian state television, Novak said it will be impossible to quickly find a replacement for Russian oil on the European market, pointing to Germany's decision last month to freeze certification of Nord Stream 2, a new gas pipeline connecting the two countries. He added that an oil embargo could prompt a retaliation. We now have joining us on News Now a professor of energy electricity law, University of Lagos, Professor Yemi Oke. Good evening, Professor. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us. Well, the UK is going to end the import of Russian oil by the end of this year. Also, the US is ending importation of oil and other energy products from Russia. What are the foreseeable implications for Russia? As I see none, to be realistic, I definitely see none. Um, in, in terms of global politics and politicking, uh, oil, as you, say, as you know, uh, is a major, a major uh, uh, strategy to impose uh, a kind of global pressure or sanction. But in this situation, let nobody make or be under any illusion or disillusion that Russia is being punished. No. Russia is not being punished. I mean, not going by that route to punish. But if UK imposes the kind of by, by, uh, uh, product uh, 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 kind of restriction, and US imposing a kind of a snob on, 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 on Russia's uh, product. That would definitely not punish Russia. It will only punish innocent citizens of the world, including Nigeria, Ghana, Afghanistan, and other countries that are already stressed in terms of energy demands and supplies. So it's going to end up distorting global supply and demand chain. It's going to so create, even though it's it's going to affect yeah. Russia's source of revenue, you're saying it's not a punishment at all to Russia. It's not it's not a kind of punishment to Russia. I mean, talking about the kind of punitive measures that it, it was the world should look at at this at this stage. In, talking in terms of international or, or, or transnational diplomacy, when you attack Russia by by their product talking of crude or uh, an energy war, so to speak. You are not likely to punish Russia or other countries like the U.S. that already have strategic reserves, both within their country and other countries. Then gas, Russia is huge in terms of gas and uh, and other, other, and, and other. But then Russia has uh, enormous uh, strength in other areas that uh, we're not even looking at. It's not going to hit Russia the way it's going to hit innocent citizens and countries of the world. Before Russia will blink as a result of those strategies, the world will probably will have felt it more. Okay, well, the ban has triggered a surge in Brent crude to almost $140 a barrel. Uh, that's its highest level since 2008. Naturally, because if, when, you, when, you, when you go that route, uh, trade, 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 of, of, of a kind of uh, uh, a position that, that, that would lead to the, uh, the, the boycott of uh, product from a particular country. The country should, I mean, being a reasonable uh, country, will have had in place strategies that will make it survive for at least a year or two. But by the time you're cutting off Russia, being a major supplier, uh, 
uh, the world would definitely not be the same. Well, is Nigeria Countries prepared? Okay. Well, is Nigeria? Do you think prepared to benefit from this situation? And how can Nigeria benefit maximally? Nigeria is not going to benefit because, um, I mean, previously we had uh, a kind of surge, up, upward surge in, in, in prices of uh, crude oil during the, the Gulf War, and uh, some of it, some of the outcome of it, talking precisely, some of the mornings and the gains fell from such like that in the way. Uh, slush funds embezzled through corrupt institutional structures that we have in place. So, I mean, very little to show in terms of infrastructural uh, 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 improvement and uh, investment in education. As, as you know, as we some tried, so many industries are dilapidated. So, those are the kind of uh, slush funds that will have been invested. Uh, to drive socioeconomic development, to improve infrastructure, to stimulate economic development and growth. But naturally, trust me, even the state government, because most of, let me not say most of them, uh, a significant number of the state government in Nigeria are bankrupt, technical bankrupt, not practical bankruptcy now. Uh, will not allow federal government to sit for any days. We've had it before during the for the Wella regime where state governors of state government clamored for sharing money for strategic reserves until that got depleted. So even if Nigeria is able to save three loans as a result of Okay, the, okay. The so Kenya Nigeria Russia cannot will. benefit, you don't see it because of corruption. All right, well, analysts are listing Venezuela, Iran, U.S. aid as possible options should that um, uh, take effect. Uh, do you see um, how are other oil producing countries going to be able to harness this to benefit when from talk this? Of, when you talk of other oil producing countries, they definitely have been able to diversify the economy and the economies and they have other stuff like you know, for instance you know, UAE now doesn't really depend so much on uh, on food oil though it still, still forms a major chunk of their uh, of their hand but they, they are huge in terms of uh, tourism the same thing for, for Saudi Arabia and other countries uh, or, or other uh, Middle East countries um, that, that you might, might want to reference. And corruption is not as right in those countries because, of course, you know, in some cases, that has capital punishment. I'm not advocating capital punishment for Nigeria, definitely not. But, you no, know, having that kind of push fund at the time the country is going into election would definitely mean uh, a kind of distortion in our, in, in our, in our economy and an already distorted economy. Well, um, thank, thank you so much, Professor. Time will not allow us to continue with this conversation. Uh, professor um, Yemi Oke is a professor of Energy, Electricity, Law, University of Lagos. Thank you so much for your time. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.